vlog talk, I've got my big old bucket of toy parts out again today, which means we're going to be making some toys. More specifically, we're going to be making a toy necklace today. Now, the point of a toy necklace is that you would wear it, so that way if you have a bird that likes to excessively preen your face, or maybe they try and pick imperfections off of your skin, or they like to chew your earrings or your necklaces, or they just really like to get all up in your face and try to be social and preen you, but it just hurts a little bit or you just don't like it, and it gives them something else to do to redirect that behavior towards. So now they can preen and they can chew this necklace that you're wearing, they can still be close to you like they want to, but they aren't doing all those behaviors that can be bothersome or actually quite painful. So to get started here, the first thing you're going to need is some string. Now you can use whatever kind of string you like, you can use sisal, you can use hemp. I'm just using paper cording because I find it's really smooth. So if I'm going to be wearing this around my neck, I don't like using sisal and things because sisal is quite scratchy. Paper cording is still quite strong, even though it is quite thin for the one that I'm using, but it's still really, really strong. It's going to hold up to chewing and it's really smooth. So it's not going to scratch up or irritate my skin too excessively when I'm wearing the toy necklace. How much string you use is entirely up to you. You're going to want to just make it so that it can at least fit over your head without you having to untie and retie the knot. You can if you really want to, and if that's the way you want to set it up, whatever makes you happy. But personally, I just like being able to throw them on over my head and take them off, not having to worry about retying things or create an extra latch to be able to hook it on and off of myself. So with the string, I'm going to leave it longer than I'm actually going to want it for right now. So this is quite massive. It would fit over my entire torso. It's way bigger than it needs to be. But the reason why I'm leaving it this long for right now is because when we add all the toy parts and things onto it, it's going to kind of shrink the circumference of the circle of the necklace here. So even though it looks like it's going to fit perfectly over my head if I were to make it only that big, when you add thicker toy parts and things onto it, it might not actually squeeze over. If you've got you know blocks of wood going this way, then the blocks of wood are going to be hitting your head. So we're just going to leave the string really nice and long to start, and as we put toy parts on it, we'll check and we'll figure out the length at the very end. So the first thing I like to do is kind of go through my parts and pick out things that I think are going to go well together, that I think are going to keep my birds occupied, and if you're going to be using this out around your house, you might want to look into things that aren't going to leave a lot of wood chips and aren't going to be super messy. I personally don't care if I leave wood chips all over my house, it's my house, I'll clean it up. Not the end of the world, the birds are having fun, that's all that matters to me. So for my necklace, the toy parts I'm going to be using are a vine star that I'm going to use for the middle of the necklace just to kind of give it a good central focal point, make it look a little bit nicer. It's really more for aesthetics. To make this easier to connect to the necklace, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to grab some of these weaves from the top and I'm just going to kind of wiggle them off which is going to give us a nice little loop at the top to be able to thread the string through. Next I have this thick braided material here and I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut these into like little two inch rectangles just to make them fit nicely on the rest of the necklace. I'll also have some little cardboard donuts, of course finger traps, these again I'm just going to cut in half. Vine balls are always a favorite and they're really easy to thread because of all the holes. Here I have one of those solo wood sticks. To make this a little bit smaller, I'm just going to take some scissors and just cut some nice little discs. And it already has a hole going through it, so it'll be nice and easy to thread the string through. Just some balsa wood chunks. I've got a few different colors. They've got a nice pre-drilled hole and the wood is firm, but still soft enough for the birds to enjoy just to add a bit more color and a bit more depth. But if you want things that are a little bit cleaner, you might want to look for more like plastic hard acrylic toys, things that they can fiddle around with, but aren't going to break into a million pieces all over your couch. Um, so use whatever parts you enjoy, whatever parts you have at hand. You can even just use printer paper and just cut it up into different shapes so you can fold it and crinkle it and kind of make your own little design out of this. You by no means have to follow every single thing that I'm using, just have fun with it. So I've got my pile of parts here. I already went through my bucket and kind of picked up the things that I think will go well together, that I think will be easy to put onto a necklace, and that my birds will enjoy. So I've got my huge pile of parts here and all the different things, and I'm just going to kind of lay them out in an order that I think is going to work well. It isn't perfect. You don't have to be specific with the way that you do it, but for me, I like to try and make these things 
kind of symmetrical because when you think about how a necklace would actually look on you, generally speaking, the beads and things that they put on it are in a symmetrical design. It just looks a little nicer, etc. So I'm personally going to go for that. I'm going to lay out all my parts into a pattern that's going to be somewhat symmetrical when it's actually being worn around the neck. Um, but you don't have to. I'm <laughs> just, this is just the way I like to be. just thread this on the string. As you're threading it on you'll find that certain pieces kind of squish together a bit more and they don't sit quite right and you'll kind of gradually make small adjustments to the pattern as you go along or you'll find that when you wear it certain pieces are hitting your face and you don't like it so you'll move things around but I like doing this just to give me a general guide it makes it a little bit easier than threading them on and trying to remember what order they would go in because trying to make things symmetrical and then backwards symmetrical because of the way a necklace is laid out is just really awkward for me personally I can't wrap my head around it so this is the way I'm gonna go. For some things you might have to get some scissors and just kind of poke a little hole or get a fork, poke a little hole so that we can fit things through. Most of my parts already have holes in them or are kind of woven so it's easy enough just to kind of cram the string through it. But you may have to get a little bit creative to make those holes if you don't happen to have a power drill. I often just try to get creative and use things like chopsticks or forks or knives and just kind of poke at things. It's not necessarily the safest if you are going to go use knives to poke holes in wood, please be careful. <laughs> it's not necessarily the safest way to do things. As long as you can make the string go through the toy part, it's all that matters. Okay, so I've got my nice long string and we just want to make sure that nothing's going to fall off the other end here. So I tend to either like to tie a knot or just put something on top of it. I'm just going to put this big roll of stuff just so that way when I thread toy parts on the string, it's not going to go falling off the edge. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.